most commonly we use the IV Narcan. Um, it can be administered uh, intramuscular as well. But second, the second most that we use is intranasal. Um, and we basically put, uh, which is like a, an Afrin that you get from the store, a little atomizer. We screw it on top and when we spray it, it sprays out like a mist. There are programs out there that um, trains people how to administer Narcan. Um, very similar, like when someone becomes a diabetic, someone can easily show you how to administer your insulin. Same way with Narcan. If you need it, there are programs out there that um, someone in the medical professional can show you very quickly step-by-step -step little probably pamphlet guide on how to do it. And I know that you can contact the Williamson County, the Anti-Drug um, Coalition, and get a hold, hold of them. They've got, um, I've been on their website, and their website's very laid out um, and detailed on what to do. Our, one of our main things is um, an open patent airway, and we'll do something very basic um, with a, a basic tool, and that's like an OPA or an NPA. Um, and it's a small airway adjunct that we can put in your nose or your mouth to keep your tongue um, out of the way enough to allow a good passive airway. Um, as long as people are breathing and they have a pulse, uh, something simple as just some, some oxygen, nasal cannula or high flow, non breather mask, or one of those NPA, OPA adjuncts, um, usually gets them there very safely. Because uh, sometimes Narcan can make the patient vomit when they do wake up. And then we worry about, you know, compromising your airway there. Um, most of the time, 95% of the time, just something very basic. We can get them to the hospital safely.